Okay, in this video, we're gonna be doing number three from the 2025 Calc A, B, and B, C exams, and it's a table problem. It's a pretty typical table problem, so let's take a look. Um, a student starts reading uh, a book at time t equals zero minutes and continues reading for the next 10 minutes. The rate at which the student reads is modeled by the differentiable function r, where r of t is measured in words per minute. This feels like kind of a stretch, but okay. Selected values of r of t are given in the table below. Um, and so t's in minutes, r of t's in words per minute. Part A, approximate r prime of one using the average rate of change of r over the interval from zero to two. Show the work that leads to your answer. So recently they've been telling you what interval to use, which I don't know is pretty good. Um, so we're just gonna say that uh, r prime of one, and then we're gonna say is approximately equal to. So you gotta nail that. Um, and then it's just gonna be the average rate of change. That's algebra one slope. So. Uh, we're going to use these values. I'm going to set it up by saying it's r of 2 minus r of 0 over 2 minus 0. Then we go to the table and we pull the values. So it's going to be 100 minus 90 over 2, um, which uh, you could actually stop there and then just put units on it. But uh, I'm going to keep going because it doesn't look too risky here. That's 10 divided by 2 is 5. Now for units, it's going to be the units of r of t divided by the units of t. So it's going to be words per minute per minute which it's not wrong to write words per minute squared. I just think it's easier to interpret the meaning of words per minute per minute versus words per minute squared. So I always write words per minute per minute. Uh, for part B, must there be a value of C between zero and 10 such that R of C is equal to 155? Justify your answer. So R of T is what we are given and we're being asked if there's a value of that function. Uh, which means, in my mind, this is an intermediate value theorem problem, right? So if they were asking something about r prime, it would be a mean value theorem problem. But uh, let's set it up. So we need, if we're going to use IVT, we need r to be continuous. We're not given that. We're actually only given that r of t is differentiable. Um, so if you look at this setup, you can see we're asked about 155. In the table, you go from 150 to 162. Uh, definitely, uh, it's going to happen. So since we have a differentiable function, we have a continuous function. So R of T is differentiable, therefore R of T is continuous. So now we're able to use the intermediate value theorem. Um, and so what I like to do is I like to state the values. I know they're in the table, but I'm gonna say, you know, R of eight is 150. I'm gonna say that R of 10 is 162. Now I'm gonna like dive into the intermediate value theorem stuff. So I'm gonna say, since r of 8 is less than 155 is less than r of 10, by IVT, we know that r of c equals 155. And then we have to finish. So we'll say for some c. And now what we did was we showed that it's between 8 and 10. So there's for some c between 8 and 10. I'm always a little paranoid about it. So I like to also say, therefore, for some c between 0 and 10, because that's what the problem actually asked for. I think they would definitely um, infer that 8 to 10 is between 0 and 10, but whatever. Better safe than sorry. Let's look at the next part. Use a trapezoidal sum with three subintervals indicated by the theta in the table to approximate the value of the integral from 0 to 10, r of t dt. We got to show the work. All right, so I like to start off by writing the integral that I'm approximating. So integral from 0 to 10, r of t dt is approximately. Now we're doing trapezoids. So every trapezoid has a one half. And then what we need to do is there's going to be a base. So we'll go from zero to two, which is two. And then, uh, well, actually, I guess you could call that the height and then the sum of the bases. So one half the height, sum of the bases. So the sum of the bases is going to be 90 plus 100. And then uh, in the formula, we have another one half. Then we're going from two to eight. So that's six. And then the sum of the bases will be 100 plus 150, and then uh, another one half. We're going from eight to 10, so that's two. And then it'll be uh, the sum of the bases, so 150 to 162. So you'll notice I'm just writing it like this. You do not need to simplify your answer, so really, you should stop here and just be done with the problem. But it's really hard to make myself do that, so it's actually one, two, five, two. Um, but you shouldn't do that. You should leave it as is in your summation there. Um, so that's it. Let's look at the next part. So this is, it's entirely different. Uh, I kind of, same context, I guess, but a teacher starts reading at time zero minutes, continues reading for the next 10 minutes. The rate at which the teacher reads is modeled by the function W, 
negative 3 tenths t squared plus 8t plus 100. W of t is measured in words per minute. Based on the model, how many words has the teacher read by the end of the 10 minutes? And we got to show the work that leads to our answer. All right, so this is just a, um, we're going to integrate the rate to get the total. So uh, the integral from 0 to 10 of negative 3 tenths t squared plus 8t plus 100, and then a dt at the end there. Uh, so we're going to reverse the power rule. So it's all plus 1 times the reciprocal. So for the first part, the 3s cancel. Uh, so you just get negative 1 tenth t cubed. Then you're going to get 4t squared. Then you get 100t. And we're evaluating from 0 to 10. Uh, so we're going to use the fundamental theorem here. We're going to plug in. So first you plug in 10. So negative 10 cubed over 10 plus 4 times 10 squared plus 100 times 10. And then I like to make it very clear what I'm doing. So I'm going to say minus, when you plug in zero, you just get zero. Um, you should stop here because you don't need to simplify. Uh, but I can't help myself, so I simplified anyway. Uh, so you get negative 100 plus 400 plus 1,000, 1,300 words um, is what you get. So that's the entirety of this question. I hope this was helpful and good luck.